Video. Today on Brew Detailers, we're giving an express detail to this somewhat dusty and a little bit dirty Honda HRV. They're a nice car, but they do get into a bit of a mess really quite quickly. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. We're throwing on a bit of all purpose cleaner onto the front bumper just to help get rid of some of the bugs and then starting by giving it a good pressure washing to rinse off all that dust before we give it its base coat pre-rinse with the snow foam. We use Dirt Buster's Snow Foam. This one is a pH neutral with a nice, really, really nice vanilla fragrance. As always with Snow Foam, it's always best to put it on from the bottom to the top. The whole idea is that it encapsulates the dirt. So you, what you don't want to do is start from the top and have any of that dirt get trapped on the top layer because then it won't be doing anything at all for your car. Now you can either wash using the snow foam once it's on the car and has been left to dwell for a little bit, or alternatively you can grab a standard car wash soap and bucket. And as you can see here, we actually use a microfiber noodle mitt. And as with all our products, they are available to buy from Amazon, pretty much where everything came from, apart from our pressure washer. Links are in the descriptions below. After you finish washing, it's really important that you give it a good thorough rinse using the pressure washer to get every last little bit of soap out of that. Because when you start to dry out, what you don't want are little water spots left anywhere on the paintwork because they could get caught underneath whatever top coat you decide to put on your vehicle. As always with the wheels, uh, we're getting in there with our small detail brush first around where the wheel nuts go. We're then using a dedicated spoke brush to get in between the gaps on the alloy itself and scrub the wheel behind the frontage and then finishing off with a scrub of the tyre using our wheel scrub brush.
stop. We use an extra heavy, extra dense microfiber cloth that's quite large for drying off the vehicle because that way you get up any remaining moisture that's on the car itself. It is quite a warm day so what we don't want to do is end up with water streaks running down the bodywork so at the same time this will help stop that and if there is any tiny tiny little bits of water left they should dry out quite naturally in the sunlight. Turning our attention to the inside, it's not that dirty so it shouldn't take too long, just a real quick hoover out to smarten it up and make sure that everything is good. I always lift the floor up on a boot and hoover underneath. You'd be surprised how much stuff manages to make its way under there. So it's always good just to put a real complete job, get under there, 
get into all the nooks and crannies and then leave it up while you're taking care of the plastics afterwards because again you'll find that the carpet itself, the boot floor, however it's made, will normally pop up against the plastic on the back of the boot lid which means that if you don't lift it up you're not going to be able to clean it properly. Now as this is only a quick express detail, we're just using some Demon Shine to spruce the paintwork back up and give it a real, real deep sheen. It stands out brilliantly in the sunlight and makes it look like you've actually spent hours waxing the car when the reality is it's a spray on, wipe off. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments. If you did, also tell me why in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the channel to all your friends and family, including selling your firstborn in order to get more likes for us. It's very much appreciated. We'll see you next time.